Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at LoRa devices once again. Uh, last time we took a look on GQRX and took a look at some of the Relay Hello packets. Now we're going to be looking at it in Universal Radio Hacker. Super cool tool. It is available on the Pine phone and the Pine tab. So we're going to take a look at that. This is the home screen once you open it up. And the packets are already going out from the LoRa device. And I thought it would be a good video to focus on LoRa a bit more since Pine64 is have it coming out with a LoRa device soon and we're going to go ahead and open the Spectrum Analyzer to begin with. This is going to, a tool to allow you to find out where the centering of your frequency is so you can get it set and tuned to the right frequency. We're going to set it to 915. We have it set to RTL SDR which is the internal SDR. I have my LoRa antenna hooked up to my tablet and we're going to go ahead and hit the start button now so we can find out if we are tuned in right. Here over here we can see the packets. It looks like I am centered perfectly on the frequency that we're using and we're going to now open up the sniff protocol section of Universal Radio Hacker. So we're going to close out the spectrum analyzer. We're done with that. We're opening up the sniff protocol. This will allow you to sniff the packets of the frequency we're tuned into. So we go ahead and hit that little refresh button again to detect our RTL SDR. We go down and take a look at some of our options and make some selections. Um, this doesn't have a LoRa demodulator built in, but the next application I'm going over for SDR does have a LoRa demodulator built in. So what we're doing here is we're just going over how this tool works a bit and how to get started with it. So we're going to go ahead and sniff the LoRa protocol and at the bottom over here we should see some binary ones and zeros that are making up some of these packets using the modulation that we do have available to us. I've used this played with it about a week or two now and I'm gonna have more videos on it as time goes on. So after hitting that analysis button, we get a variety of different message types that come down here. As I mentioned earlier, this is not meant for decoding LoRa radio communications. So I used this as an example because it was one of the devices I had laying around. And the next video I do on software-defined radio is going to have a LoRa-specific demodulator. So stay tuned for that video. I wanted to show you what this thing had, the capabilities. There's a ton of different ways you can do analysis and protocol sniffing on the Universal Radio Hacker. So that is a really great app. It's available for the Pine tab. If you watched my previous video, I have a tutorial instructional how to put Danked Nix Arch Linux on your Pine tab or Pine phone and add the Black Arch repositories, which has this Universal Radio Hacker on it. So that's how you can get a hold of it in a quick and easy fashion. Go ahead and follow my video on how to put Black Arch on your Pine phone and Pine tab, and you will have access to a great tool like this. That's all I got today, guys. Make sure to subscribe with the bell icon, like this video, and comment, share the video, and I will be back with more on software-defined radio in the Pine tab.